What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the video guys. So in this video I'll be tapping my girdle for my K28-3. Um, hopefully you guys have seen the whole setup I have here. So the reason why I'm doing this, if you guys will remember that video I did with that hole pump, uh, make sure to check it out and the whole characteristics and the reason. Again, this is not necessary. Everyone has their own opinion. Like I'll always say in my videos, it's for you to go out, conceptualize your own idea, hear from both sides, and come up with your conclusion. Speak to your mechanic, speak to your tuner, and be knowledgeable in the whole situation. So I decided to go with the K28 to oil pump. If you have the K28 out of the Civic SI EP3, you're gonna have the balance shaft oil pump. Unless differently, someone went inside and already tampered it. If you have the RSX base model, it comes already with the PR, uh, PRB oil pump. So this model probably won't help you in any way. Um, the reason why I'm doing this again, because the Type S oil pump is way lighter, a more simple setup. If anything happens, it's easy for me to go in an engine and take shit off. Um, like I said, it's lighter, um, it spins slower, so cavitation is reduced, causing not the pump to suck air in, pitting the gears, pitting the rotors, um, allowing me to rev higher. Now, I'm sure a lot of guys are revving higher with their K20Z3 oil pumps because the K20Z3 and the K24s as well came with the balanced oil pump. Um, so, I'm sure there's an exception to the rule, guys, with stop blocks probably running uh, Jackson Racing Supercharger or Kraftwerk Supercharger, stop block, making decent power. So again, you have to speak to your tuner and see where you're at. Um, so, but the Pratt Balance Shaft oil pump is heavier. It's, it's a really big setup, really heavy. I can tell for myself, I, I have them, it's heavy. Um, the shaft that is spinning the oil is not spin by the crankshaft. So it's probably spinning a bit faster than the crankshaft speed. So speed is increased, cavitation is increased. It probably won't be safe to be revving that high with this big setup. Now again, I'm sure there's an exception to the rule. So it's for you to go out and do your research and go from there. So the tools I would be I will be using um, on the bond. I'll show you what I'll be tapping on the um, the girdle. I went with a seven um, bolt with a one pitch thread. Bought these bolts from Lowe's, came up to like two, three bucks, ain't them crazy, and a tap and die set. So I'll give you guys a close up what I'll be doing, and let's start from the front. All right guys, so for us to do this, um, if I didn't say that earlier again, my apologies. Um, so again, I need to tap this um, oil jet or oil plug hole. Um, unfortunately, this is not a plug and play mod, so you have to tap it else you're going to have crappy oil pressure. Um, just to show you guys a hole right here, I'm going to take the balance shaft oil pump and sure that it gets covered. So facing this way is the timing side. I don't have the front of the oil pump on that fits the timing chain because if you guys see it, I have it on the ground when I showed you in the previous clip. And you're going to see this is the hole right here and it's going to be covered and it helps supply oil to the main bearing. So, and this thing is heavy guys. No one can tell me this is not a decent mod, to be honest with you. Like, like I said, it probably doesn't need to be done, but this thing is heavy, man. And we know as race cars, anything to reduce weight would be a plus, especially in the engine. Now, this is the PRB pickup tube. This is just, this is all of it. And see how it just sits over? It just hangs. And it's light, guys. It is light. So, if you don't plug that up, you're going to have crappy old pressure. So, I'll give you guys a close-up. You yeah, guys already see what I'll be using, and let's go from there. All right, so this is a close-up, guys. Now, this oil plug, if, um, if you guys are confused about the direction, so on your girdle, where your um, VIN sits with that green tab, that green, that green metal strip that has your VIN on it, this hole sits right on the third bearing, um, again, um, holster area on the main cap area. Um, so. This may be different for the, some of the K20 and the K24s. Um, the, K20, the K20Z3 and the K24s has the same look. It's like a silver um, round indentation and it has like a hole and you could probably put a screw in it and just try to pry it out. For me on this K20A3, it was a brass fitting and it couldn't come out. So I had to drill it out, go to a quarter and then tap it out. So I already started. Um, so I'll show you guys what you do, just get your tap, slowly try to go down, find your thread, I already started. Um, if you have to reverse, just to back the thread out, just safely go down. 
I decided to make some more tread, as you can see. So I was having some, the screw wasn't going all the way down. I think I'm good. I think I'm bottom it. See if I can get a little bit more. Uh, this is brass, so if it gets any weak, weaker, you know, that's, that's a no-no. So, I have my hole. Now, I have my my bolt. Now, like I said, this is not final assembly. And I know I've been procrastinating, guys, on, you know, putting this motor together. But I just keep doing researches, guys. Just keep researching because, um... I keep learning new things and I want to change shit up so <laughs> but yeah I'm really gonna get to putting this engine back together so I have you guys can see here I have my bolt my washer now what I would do I'll use my good old trusty Honda bond put on the thread and let's see if our tap job went well see if it catches pitch catches thread you see it went down a little bit lower. Uh, well, I didn't show you guys first, but it went down a little bit lower. So, I'm gonna really torque the hell out of this because the last thing we want is this thing to back out. So hopefully our little Honda bond helps us. So, this is how it will look. Um, now before I do this, obviously, I'm gonna take this out and get some compressed gear and spray the hell out of it. Because the last we want is metal shavings to get inside of our build and all this will be in vain. So, that's what I got going on today, guys. Um, be sure to check out that video when I spoke about the whole welcome situation. Again, I'm sure it's not necessary. I want you guys to go out and just, you know, do your research and see what's your goals and what's your budget and um, go from there. Um, check out my last video. Um, not trying to advertise or market any here, but um, check out my last video. Uh, I tore down my K20Z3 transmission. So, hope you guys have a great one, and thanks for watching.